The Havoc Marauder has become a staple in the Star Wars universe, being the main transport and home of Clone Force 99, the Bad Batch. But how much did it cost? The Marauder was an Omnicron class attack shuttle developed by Cygnus Spaceworks. There are other models of shuttles like the Lambda class T4 shuttle or the Imperial shuttle cost 140,000 credits and the Republic's new class attack slash transport shuttle went for 85,000 credits. But the Marauder wasn't a standard issue shuttle for the Republic or the Empire. It was issued to the Bad Batch for covert and undercover missions throughout the Clone Wars. With enhanced cloaking devices and weapons, it being classified as a gunship attack shuttle, it was a top of the line Republic Spaceworks. And the ability to travel into hyperspace and it was fit with powerful subway engines which improved the maneuverability of the craft overall. And with the added bonus of it being upgraded by Tech, its primary pilot, with enhanced star maps and hyperspace routes and Republic military protocol and algorithms technology built into it by Tech. Being home to the rogue group of clones, they depended on the Marauder to continuously outsmart the Empire and stay alive. But how much did it cost? Considering the craft was top of the line during the end of the Clone Wars and had proven to be better than Republic and Imperial crafts, 250,000 credits wouldn't be a stretch for this. But with tech's upgrades and technology, it is now favorable for outlaws being off the radar by Imperial networks and still being a classic Republic era spacecraft, the Marauder could easily fetch half a million credits on the Star Wars black market. So, I guess that's how much the Havoc Marauder would cost. Do you think it's worth more or less? What other ships would you have besides the Marauder? I honestly think the Marauder is getting better every single episode, but that's how much it would cost, 250 to half a million credits. Subscribe if you would like, and until next video, goodbye.